What is up? Back with more Pokemon Scarlet. All right, so I think we left off. Okay, this I think this is the lighthouse. There's three Lechonk in front of me for some reason. They're like, what the heck are you doing here? Okay, make that four Lechonk and a Hoppip. I'm literally surrounded. Is there like a camera? Look at his ears. You see his ears go up? Oh, I forgot about the auto heal option. Okay, so probably can't zoom. I need to take a picture of this. Let's one of his ears go up. Come on, let's get it. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at the hop it. Why is there so many Lechonk here? Oh, you know what? I shouldn't put my own Lechonk. 
make the lead Pokemon. And then... Ha! <laughs> now we got a Lechonk party. What's up, Gui? Look at that. Can't even tell which Lechonk is mine. Is this one smaller? Are there different sizes? Or am I just seeing things? So I swear that one looks smaller. Like that one right there in the middle. I think there is a size difference. Oh, that's a sleeping Lechonk. Or it was sleeping. Yeah, I was here for a while, so... <laughs> I was like making my thumbnail and stuff. Okay, let's go up this lighthouse thing. Let's do it. South Province Area 1. Are they still down there? No, I think they all despawned. Oh, it's quiet now. Oh, no, they're still there. Yeah, they're still down there. That's cool. Oh, there she is. Is there anything else up here? Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. There's the cave from earlier. Uh, okay, there you go. <laughs> Look, Pokepop, that's Mesa Gosa. Is that name in the academy? Can't remember. And that huge building with the Pokeball on it is our school. Okay, never mind. Mesa Gosa is probably like the town nearby. It's gonna be so great having you in the same class. But all that schoolwork. I don't like schoolwork. Don't think of it as schoolwork. Think of it as tons of chance to learn about Pokemon battling. Is it awesome what you can see from up here? Yep. Mountains, forests, grasslands. Beautiful nature stuff as far as the eye can see. It's all no poly though. And you know what's waiting for you all over these natural spaces? Tons of Pokemon. There you go. Got a good picture. Consider this me officially telling you, welcome to Paldea. But anyway, like you can see, it's kind of a hike to get to school from here. It sure is. Let's make it to Los Platos for starters. That's right on the way. Vamos, come on. Let's do it. Head to Los Platos. Alright, we're gonna try to play through as much as we can. Um, oh, wow. We just press Y to go back up. Is that my Lechonk? I can't even remember. Nope, it's not mine. Come on, Lechonk. Let's go! They're all following me! How far do they go? How far are they gonna follow me? Oh, this is an item. Or berry or something. The one I couldn't get towards the end of the stream later. Cherry berry. Cures paralysis. Are they gonna keep following? How far do they follow you? That's kinda interesting. Wait, before I battle that guy, how far do they follow you till they get bored? That was a Psyduck here. Is that a Zoomeril? They're still following me? Oh no, wait, this is my... Wait, is it my Lechonk? Oh no, okay, this was my Lechonk. Okay, I want to battle this... ...guy. Oh wait, I could've just pressed the bait lead Pokemon. Oh well. Okay, let's battle this dude. See, battles, trainer battles are now optional. Hey, Lego. Oh, Hoppip's on the ground. Trainer battles are not optional. There's a Tauros. Paldean Tauros on that kid's shirt. Oh my gosh. And that Zoomerl's over here too. A lion. Let's use Bite. Forgot it. Learn that move. Tarunchula. Are they like freaking out because of the battle? That's interesting. Level up.
Psyduck has seen some things, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna uh, change to the chonk so I can catch this Azumarill. Oh, I caught it off guard. Interesting. What level is it for? Um, is this thing part fairy? Yeah, we're just gonna use tackle. Okay. Oh, wow. They brought, out, brought that effect over from Legends Arceus, I think. Oh, you can move the camera! Sweet! Oh, I gotta use my Pokeball code. For like, I think I had two codes for 100 balls each. Okay, cool. It's registered. It tail bounces like a rubber ball. It flings that tail around to fight opponents bigger than itself. Nope. Sent to boxes. Again, I'm trying to get all new Pokemon in my party, so... Uh, as soon as I get a new one, I'm going to be sending the... Previously released Pokemon back to the PC box area. I gotta look around carefully, because people have been getting shinies left and right, so... Oh, where'd that Psyduck go? What the heck? It's gone! Wait, can you go in the water? Oh, yeah! Oh, there's a Buizel here. Awesome pig alert! What up, Elijah? Let's try disarming voice. I think I'm using a special attack. This army voice is also a move in, um, what do you call it? Another Pokemon game? I've been playing a little bit lately. I was talking to a guy who, when I was picking up the double pack, he said he didn't really like LeChonk that much. I was like, how could you? Well, I was thinking that. I didn't actually say that. I also want the Titan on my team. I might keep Pommy around for a little bit. It spins its two tails like a screw to propel itself through water. That the tails also slice clinging seaweed. Cool. Another one to the Pokedex. Man, I'm collecting these guys really quickly. Is that it? What is that? What the heck? Why is that thing way under there? Can I like... What the heck is this? Is this a Pokemon? Why can I battle this thing? Okay, okay. What is happening? No, not the Azumarill. <laughs> ah. Okay, so I probably just have to walk up to it if I can't throw anything at it. If I can't even... What? How the heck? Oh, no. Oh, there's a Psyduck. Okay, there's got to be like an aiming function or something like we did in Legends Arceus. No? Why wouldn't it let me throw at it? Huh? Come here! What is this thing? Come here there! What art thou? I don't think you can actually catch this thing. Or battle it for that matter. So you won't even let me throw a Pokeball over there. It'll give you an epic coin. Well, give it to me then, whatever this thing is. Oh, great. Okay, 
Well, I, we're gonna have to give up on this. I cannot figure out how to. That's a zoom rail. Man. See? I hit it. You can't do anything with it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, well, anyway. Oh, Psyduck. I'll try to get it from behind. Okay, or not. Oh, you have to go in front of it and press A? You know, I should have tried that first. Or sooner. I hope the Chonk has like some awesome evolution or something. Oh my gosh, I did nothing! I'll probably it probably lowered my attack. Why am I zoomed in? Oh yeah, I can move that. I forgot. Oh my gosh, my Lechonk. Why is this barely doing anything? Uh tackle. Finally, it's on orange. Right? The wild battle beat. Sounds pretty cool. Got two Pokemon that leveled up. Stun Spore. I might swap out that Tarunchula for something because I'm not big of a bug, bug Pokemon. It's constantly racked by headache when the headache turns sense being these mysterious powers. Okay. Ten two boxes. Toby Fox composed for most of the Oh, is that who composed the, the tracks? Cause this music sounds sick. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I wanna level a chonk up. What the how did I just how did I do that? Oh, so you can crouch. Oh what the did I just slide? That is kinda cool. Gimme ghoul coin. Material accidentally dropped by Pope. Can you let me read? Oh my gosh. What on earth? Who can read that fast? Certainly not me, that's for sure. Where can I find that? Is it here somewhere? Oh my gosh. I really have to hover over all these. Gimme ghoul coin. Material accidentally dropped by Pokemon. It seems that Gimme Ghoul treasure. It seems that Gimme Ghoul treasure and hoard these. Okay, that was confusing to me for a second. I'm gonna save real quick. We didn't wouldn't have good music. I know. That's pretty cool. I'm glad you know the name of that uh, that artist. I didn't even think to look that up, honestly. So I'm guessing this guy is known for writing really cool music. Oh, an Iggly buff. You can spend so much time just exploring here. Oh, there's a routes over there. If y'all see a shiny, let me know, because I'll do my best to keep out, keep an eye out, but I might miss some stuff. I think it's adorable how the Pokemon actually follow you here. Instead of them, like, them, you know, charging at you and attacking you every which way. Yeah, I, I uh, started working again as a tennis coach, so that's the only reason why I have this game now. <laughs> I put the double pack, too. Mercy Pines, I'm playing the, um, Violet. I also got this with it since I got it at Target. I'll open it up later on stream. I'm also wondering if I should, um... Yeah, apparently Toby Fox is the one who uh, composed the music for this game. Oh, what the... Dang it, double team. Ouchies. Oh my gosh! Why is this not doing anything? Oh, Undertale and Delta Rune. Wow. Only made Megalovania. That's why music's good. Uh, 2 HP. Okay, that should be enough. That's cool. Level 7. The horns on his head provide a strong power that enables it to sense people's emotions. No. 
Send to boxes. I wonder how many Pokemon have a Paldean evolution or whatever. Alright, LeChonk. We're gonna try to get you up to speed here in terms of level and strength. Where's that Iggly buff from earlier? What the heck is this? Oh, there it is. There's two of them. And then there's the, that new puppy Pokemon. Ah! What the? That's the one I ended up battling? Okay. I'll take it. Okay, thankfully this one's... Oh, look how... Look at the frames per second on those NPCs walking back there. Oh, use copycat. That's an interesting move. I think I'm gonna catch things as I go along. I see things. Its body has faintly sweet scent and is bouncy and soft. If it bounces even once, it cannot stop. No nickname, any boxes. But I'm not. I'm not gonna evolve any of them. I think unless I want to keep them in my party. Just want to come all the way back here again. Look at the puppy. This thing reminds me of the other thing. What's it called? It's called Fido. <laughs> they would name it Fido for the Western audience. I might keep this on my team for a while. Okay, at least his HP is going kind of down kind of quick. Uh, we'll do one more disarming voice, I think. Ooh, critical hit! Oh my gosh! Oh, whoa, guess I'm a dark type. Or, or Lechonk is a part dark. What the? There's another one behind me! <laughs> you see that? Rrr. Pokemon is smooth and moist to the touch. Yeast in Fido's breath includes fermentation with a Pokemon... Wait, fermentation in the Pokemon's vicinity. Interesting. Uh, let's swap. Scatterbug. This thing weighs 24 pounds? Oh my gosh. Doesn't look 24 pounds. Maybe the buff, I have you. I have a Zoomeril. There's a Pokeball up there. This is great, man. I've always wanted a Pokemon. I mean, open world mainline Pokemon game. Oh, look, a Combi. Is it? It's odd. Oh, it's male. Oh, well, let's look at it. Oh, my gosh. So you can aim. It, like, auto aims if you hold the. Uh uh, LZZL button. Mm, tackle. Has, there's a cry, there's inflections in their cries. Interesting. My evasiveness, I wasn't planning on evading anything. This catching Pokemon is quick here. I have not seen the new tentacle. I've been avoiding a lot of spoilers. I think I've I haven't even watched most of the trailers. <laughs> Ooh, hone claws. Interesting. Oh, it's a dark type. This user sharpers claws boost attack stat and accuracy. Let's trade that for tail whip. At night, Combi sleep in a group of about a hundred packed closely together in a lump. Hmm. 
feel like go now from the anime. Catching everything. Ooh, another item over there. Another item. Wow, it's like items galore. Awakening. Oh my gosh, how big is this thing? Where is the map? Bag? Probably key items, huh? Okay, nope. That's not useful. Okay, well. Wish I knew how to expand that map. Look how huge this is. This is crazy. It's not just like Sword and Shield where it's like semi open world. This is like true open world. Oh shoot, there's a scatter bug. Yeah, we ain't battling that. It's gonna take too long. I just wanted the item right there. It's so beautiful in a funny way. Hopefully, I get to see it soon. Why is it sweating like that? Is it freaking out or something? I wonder if people are getting shinies left and right, man. It's just like there's so many Pokemon in the overworld. Like, this is insanely huge. Is this a TM? It looks like it might, might be a TM. Endure. Cool. Oh, can't climb that up that thing. I'm guessing there's like a ride Pokemon you can use. That hop it. This is insanity, man. I could explore, like, literally forever. Okay. Oh, is this another one of those, uh... Yeah, the gimme ghoul thing. Like a little gremlin. So I'm guessing those are hidden all throughout the map. You get fall damage here like you do in Legends Arceus? I don't even know. I kinda don't want to find out, honestly. Ah! I almost crashed into that thing again. No scatter bug. Paralyzed heal. See, like I like how Pokemon rewards you for exploring. I played other RPGs where you don't get rewarded at all for exploring. It makes it pretty tedious to play, to be honest. You get bored really quick. Pokemon's probably honestly the reason why I even like exploring in the first place. Even though like most of the games were not open world. Wow. Oh, a flamingo! Uh, what do you call this? Flamenco? I don't know. No fall damage? Oh, it's literally called Flamigo. <laughs> what does this do? Oh, okay. Whatever. Copycat. But it failed. Promise? <laughs> I don't know, Gui. Oh shoot, that's super effective. Okay, uh, let's try catching it. Cool. Easy peasy. One of those new Pokemon. I'll afraid replace this bird Pokemon with the other bird Pokemon in my party. What is Covet? What does this do? The user during the push of the target and steals the target's held item. Sure. <laughs> Put a smiley face. Makes me trust that statement even less. I know fall damage. This Pokemon apparently ties the base of his neck into a knot so that energy stored in his belly does not escape from its beak. Oh, it is tied in a knot. What the heck? I didn't even notice that. I'm going to add this to my party. I'm guessing this is a one evolution Pokemon. So I'm trying to have all only new Pokemon. No previous Shen Pokemon. Doing it Ash style. Does anybody need healing? Oh, look at that! Psyduck healing- or, uh, swimming. Okay. That's, uh, what Pokemon is that? 
Is that a combi? Oh, Sunkern. I think I caught her off guard. Oh, you can actually see the character jumping back. Interesting. Oh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Hey, Blue! Sleeping in today, huh? Might as well. It's Sunday, right? My body just always wakes me up super early, and I always get sleepy super early, so... I played some tennis, got my exercise, now we're playing some Pokemon. I was gonna stream yesterday, but I was way too tired from work. Charge, sure. So you are an electric type, it looks like. Um, let's get rid of, uh... Scratch. I wanna have at least one status affecting move. Now I was younger, that would have just been all attack, all uh, offensive attacks. Something falls out of the sky in the morning, knowing it's weak, it simply feeds until it evolves. Interesting. I always like reading these things. They always uh, add new stuff every generation. Yeah, so mine is too. I always wake up super early for some reason. Like around like 5, 6 a.m., like my body just, it literally wakes me up no matter like what time I sleep. I get sleepy super early too, so. Just gotta listen to it. This game is huge. This play doesn't even matter if there's glitches and stuff. I mean, look, look at this. This is quite the experience. There's an item all the way over there, which I can't get yet. More Psyduck. I want to battle that trainer. Can you climb this? Nope. But how do you get back off? What the heck? Oh, over there. Look at that, Azumarill. You're going nuts. Whoa. They're flapping their wings and stuff. Oh, the Whooper! What the heck? Is this Flamigo trying to attack me? It might be. Um, What type is this Wooper? <laughs> oh! While eating five guys? Hello! Welcome to the stream! Good to see you on the stream. So, uh... Ariel, that I said hi as well. Five Guys is pretty good. My hair is like two braids in the front and a huge bun in the back. Seems to be done. Oh, how are you trying to do it? Whooper slime. So it's poison in ground. After losing a territorial struggle, Wooper began living on land. The Pokemon changed over time, developing a poisonous film to protect its body. Interesting. Should I, should I add Wooper to my party? This is technically a new Pokemon. It's a regional variant. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get rid of... Let's get rid of the Turan whatever. Toran... Toru... <laughs> I still can't say that. Okay. See, the game is very rewarding to people who explore, which I really like. Ooh, another item. This item's galore, man. Like, where does it... Oh, are these Fletchling? Oh, like so cute. Look at that little flock of Fletchling. Do they fly away? No, they don't. Oh, game's freezing on me. That's the first time, though, I've seen it happen since I started playing it uh, on Friday. What's over here? Oh, there's another Gimme Ghoul! Drowsy! You got his own burger? <laughs> I like it, I like it. I had some students uh, in my uh, class, one of my classes I was teaching on Saturday. They were just talking about Pokemon the whole time. Ah, the hypnosis actually worked. 
Dang it. I'm just immune to ghost, not psychic. Drowsy was caught. I wonder how many Pokemon are available in this game. I think it was like three, four hundred or something. Remember, every dream it eats, it rarely eats the dreams of adults because children are much tastier. Now that is kind of creepy, but Drowsy was always creepy. So true to its origin. Even its picture is creepy. Okay, I gotta heal up. What the heck? Oh, I was like, are those like sheep Pokemon? <laughs> Drowsy's thingy-majigger made me think it was kind of sheep-looking. Look, it looks so creepy! Why is it doing that? Oh my. I thought we were going to have a horde battle for a second. Okay, they all ran. Sort of. Um, that, oh gosh, only disarming voice is going to work. No miss! Okay. Oh, I'm already asleep? I auto-healed! Come on! I'm gonna switch. Uh, yeah. I like how it talks to the Pokeball, the character, saying, Oh, good job. Good attention to detail. Gosh, I freaking hate these things. Now it's confused. Okay, I'll probably one hit KO if I use that, so I'll try Leafage. And of course, I'm gonna hurt myself. Oh, gosh. Really? Oh, my God. And I have two Pokemon that are asleep. Okay, let's see if I have any awakenings. Oh, I do. So apparently, auto heal doesn't work on status conditions. Do not hit again! Okay, I was about to say. That would have been so annoying. Come on, just hit it. Oh, and I'm probably gonna get put back to sleep again. Okay, never mind, never mind. We all good, we all good. Thank you, I'll never have to catch it again after. Really? Come on! <laughs> Okay, you know what? Let's just throw a Pokeball at it. Let's see what happens. This is more trouble than it's worth. Oh my, I thought I was going to catch it. Oh my gosh, really? Okay, you know what? Uh, let's try throwing a Pokeball at it one more time because we almost caught it, literally. Two, three... Yes! I could have just done that from the beginning. I just forgot how low level these Pokemon are. It wraps its opponent in its gas like body, slowly weakens its prey by poisoning through the skin. Well, that's pretty dark. Alright. Gone with you, Ghastly. Okay. Wow. This is another Gimme Ghoul. Right next door, we found the other one. Man, that was terrible. Okay, let's, uh, oh my gosh. Let's auto heal this. Speedy, Spirit Gatito. And then I'm gonna make you the lead. And I gotta wake it up for that, this trainer battle. Actually using these things. Okay. All right, let's save real quick. That door was so... What door? What are you talking about? Okay, well, I'm gonna battle you first. That was a Magikarp over there. You're challenged by Axel the Student. <laughs> okay. What a lame title. Whoa! Squawkabilly! What, what the heck? Oh, it's those little parrot parakeet things that we saw at the beginning. 
The little introduction video at the beginning. What type is this thing? I don't know. Let's just try bite. Okay, that worked. I'm well, afraid you can turn the camera. Ooh, we've got a flinch. We've got the flinch in there. Whoa, that's a cool sounding cry. Well, he's Axel the student, not Axel the trainer. That's why you lost. Too busy having your. Oh, there's another Gimme Ghoul thing. I'm sure, Austin John Plays is going to come out with a video detailing the locations of all those things. Oh, what is. Oh, it's just a broken barrel. We've already been around there. Okay. Oh, yeah, I wanted to go this way. TM? Confuse Ray. Another Gimme Ghoul. Like, give me that ghoul. It's probably the why it was named that. What door was this guy talking about? I don't see no door. There's an item up there, but I can't get up there yet. One down there, one down there. Oh, that door. Jeez, let me see what happens if I... Is there anything up here? Uh, yeah, but I can't get up there yet. Okay. Nothing this way? No. Spider thingy. There is a door here and it's sealed. Okay, no, I have to go back for the item. So many Pokemon everywhere. Dire hit. Oh, a Hapini! All these baby Pokemon are just here. Where are your parents? Let's try leafage. I know this thing has like. What is this camera angle though? I can't even <laughs> do anything about it. Oh, there we go. This is a little bit better. I almost attacked it again. Everything's leveling up. Club Migo learn detect. It carries around a round white rock in its belly pouch. If it gets along well with someone, it will sometimes give it personal rock. Who's leaving their babies just wandering around in the wild? Irresponsible Pokemon parents. Okay, well, now it's with us. Rare candy. Psybeam. Anything interesting over here? Yep, there's an item. Oh, it's a TM. Sweet. Acid spray. This is like the first game where you can get TMs like this early into the game. I don't even have a single badge yet. Oh, oh, we're freezing. <laughs> Frames are dropping. And this is on the new Nintendo Switch too, the OLED. I can't imagine how much worse it is on the uh, the previous Nintendo Switch version. Another item, a flock of Hopip, if that's what you would call a flock of them. The heck is this? Faint writing is carved into the shrine. Into the music stopped into the shrine. Herein lie sealed the ruinous tablets. Okay, that's it. All right then. A lot of graphic issue, yeah. It's, it seems like they didn't do good with the uh, optimization thing. They're probably rushing to finish and meet the deadlines, to be honest. That's why it looks like this. Unfortunately, that is the reality of, of trying to meet deadlines when you work for companies 
big companies. Got this big project deadline coming up, you know, your overlords. I'm trying to, uh... Ooh, let's try, try to catch a magic card. Can I do that? That's out of range, I think. Unless it comes over here. Come hither! Whoa, go deep underwater, too. Okay, well... Oh, no. Ah! Flamigo! <laughs> I didn't want to battle you. Yeah, I've seen some footage of those glitches. Some of them are pretty bad. <laughs> but they were playing on a different... Uh, they were playing on the, the older Switch model. Oh, cool. They fly into the air. Oh, okay. I was like, what happened? Oh, look at that. <laughs> It gets put on a little floaty. That is adorable. That is so adorable. Splash. Now it actually makes sense for this thing to use Splash. I kind of wish they'd made the, the Splash animation, though. Like, the actual, like, water splashing animation. Magikarp was caught. Level up. A an underpowered pathetic Pokemon. <laughs> it may jump high or occasions, but uh, never more than seven feet. Not according to Magikarp jump. I think a jump into the if if we're considering a cannon anyway. I think a jump into the atmosphere if you train it right. Okay. I think we've caught everything in this area. At least I think. Did we battle this guy already? I cannot remember. I think we might have skipped him. I'm the strongest in Area 1 of the South Province. But we'll see about that! You think it's top of me, the mightiest martial artist here? But you're not battling, your Pokemon are. Hey look, Alejandro the Black Belt! <laughs> you're in this game, Alejandro. <laughs> and you're a Black Belt, apparently. A rock rough. I expected him to have a fighting type Pokemon. Oh, I like that little versus thing at the beginning. Okay, let's do. Oh, let's use Leafage. It's a rock type. There it is. Ah, dirty trick. He's like, good attack, good attack. All the same braids you always get. Like, uh, what, like you do, uh, so about this. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, let's keep the current Pokemon. <laughs> Alejandro sent out, sent out LeChonk! So funny. Uh, let's use Bite. Chonk kind of, you know, tanky. I guess it should be. Damage isn't bad either. You definitely can't fight. <laughs> well, does he have a third one? Or do we beat him? Whooper learned Poison Tail. Send out Kate. <laughs> oh, Makuhita. Okay, we're going to switch now because my guy low. Uh... Fido, Lech and Lechonk is asleep. Okay, well, let's send out Lechonk and hopefully it wakes up. Like, soon. This thing is adorable. Finally, you can bring out a fighting type Pokemon. Okay, well, uh, Tail Whip, since it's probably not gonna wake up anyway. Fake out, I'm asleep. Keep tail whipping until Lechonk wakes up. Cause I don't have any more awakenings left. Oh, I think I can move this camera. Ah! Oh my, this is a multi-hit move. 
Wake up already! Okay, now you have one HP. Great. And it didn't wake up. Okay, uh... I'm just gonna use Pommy. It has full HP. Okay. Thankfully, it takes those hits a lot better, but not by much! Static! Okay, whew. At least I get move priority now. This is pretty cool, though. Oh, no! Stop! Okay, I'm legit kind of worried. What does this do again? It lowers their attack. Okay, I'm gonna have to use Growl. It does way too much damage. Can I go above? Oh, I can do above. Okay, Pommy's gonna faint, unfortunately, but I did manage to lower its attack stat. Okay, this guy kind of strong. Kind of strong. <laughs> Flamigo. Oh, you you know what? This guy will resist it because it's part fighting type. Um. Let, oh, a flying type move. Okay. I should have done this from the beginning. <laughs> oh, it's using focus energy. Probably gonna use focus punch or something. There we go. I like how Flamingo literally looks like just like a Flamingo. Oh, it has a victory cry. Did you see that? <laughs> That's so cool. Yes, let's learn Magical Leaf. Okay, this is special. So I guess we should replace it with Leafage. Yeah, let's do that. Fido. That is such a funny name for a Pokemon. So it wants to learn Bite, so I guess... Let's forget... Hmm... Forget Tackle, since I already have Covet for a normal type move. I defeated Alejandro! I'm not gonna lie, that was kinda tough! <laughs> Very well, henceforth, I am the second mightiest. A lot of prize money, too. That was supposed to be a harder battle. And my Pokedex has been updated. Okay, let's uh, go to the next town and go to the Pokemon Center. Was this the way back? I think it was. Let's have one of my Pokemon follow me. Because it's so adorable. What the? You're just gonna... Keep following me, dang it! Does it just fall behind or something? Probably. Okay, well, if, if I'm gonna have to keep waiting for it to catch up... Yeah, that's probably why I got its return. Okay, is there any Pokemon that's, like, fast enough? I would really like some Pokemon to follow me. Okay, you're probably fast enough. Okay, you fly. Oh, you're still slow. Ah! No! One of these is actually should actually uh, show an animation for running. Okay, all these Pokemon are just so slow, aren't they? Yeah, they're just too slow. Uh, I'm gonna keep Flamigo up front though. And you go to the Pokemon Center. Got my Pokemon all healed up, so we can battle again. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, Poke Pop over here. This here's a Pokemon Center. It looks quite a bit different than the previous ones. You come here to take care of a lot of things related to your Pokemon, but I'll leave the explanations to the pros here. Oh, that's a nice a little apron. I like that. I'm here to keep everyone's Pokemon healthy. Here on my left is the Pokemart counter. You can buy things like Pokeballs and potions. Hello, we accept payments in, both in cash and in LP league points. That is, LP is worth one Poke dollar thing. 
And to my right is a technical machine, machine, uh, technical machine, TM machine for short. It's your ticket to making TMs, which you can use to teach with your Pokemon. You can make TMs? You need to pay an LP and supply the machine with materials that Pokemon drop. Oh, that's what they're for. LP comes in handy both at these machines and at stores. I've got a lot uh, here. Have some. I like these Rotom phones, though. I didn't even realize I had that much LP. Lots of Pokemon materials. And then the Union Circle, you can connect with other trainers to find yourself some adventuring companions. Come visit the Pokemon Center anytime you need any help. We will, thanks. Remember, had a rough adventure? Get to the Pokemon Center. Sometimes you have to know this sort of stuff for quizzes at school. But mnemonics help out. Here's another one. R... You ready? Then let's go. Goofy, sure, but it helps you remember you can send your lead Pokemon out with the R button. That way you can have the Pokemon that's walking with you go pick up items lying around. Or go battle on its own or other stuff like that. Oh, I didn't know that! But let's go to give the go-ahead. Your Pokemon will set out on its own to bat- On its own to bat- Oh, it can battle on its own? So can you battle- have it battle on its own while you're having your own battle with a different Pokemon? It won't be able to go exploring on its own, so your Pokemon gets weak. Try to get heal up with a potion or some other item. When your Pokemon starts to battle while exploring on its own, you won't need to give any orders. It can battle on its own with auto battles, meaning that you can keep searching the area for new discoveries while watching it over from your bio. That is so cool! Auto battles will be decided by the strength and the types of the Pokemon taking part in the battle, so keep in mind when choosing which of your Pokemon to send out on its own. Interesting. That's pretty cool. I need to heal up. What the? Can I register my birthday? Kind of prefer Sword and Shield's Pokemon Center music. Yeah, it's it's adorable though. It's kind of cute. I like it. It's very you know, uh, light and I don't know, like uh, kind of reminds me like baby music a little bit. <laughs> Did you know? When you don't know where to go next, you can ask for help at any Pokemon Center. The staff can give you tips about where you might want to try. Plus, they'll register their suggested destination destinations on your Rotom phone for you. Okay. Come back. Yeah, I like that the the parting message better this time. Now we hope to see you again. Got to find combine the Pokemon and Pokemon Center together. It might it really does make things easier. Okay, let's try making a TM. To make TMs, you'll need to gather up materials from Pokemon and earn League Points, or LP. The range of TMs you can make will expand as you pick up new TMs or receive them from others during your adventure. So, Charm, Mud Slap, Protect, Ice Fang. Oh, there's animations for the pictures, too. Thunder Fang, Fire Fang, Low Kick, Acid Spray, Struggle Bug, Craftable, Disarming Voice, Infuse Ray. Oh, so I need more materials for the ones that don't say craftable. I see. Okay, well, we'll just leave that for now. Uh, oh, you could st we can change materials for LP. I think I'm gonna save these for now, because I might need them for, like, the really good TMs. Let's buy some more Pokeballs. The scene moves to the past, showing Afton smoking, then writes a signature. What?! Uh, welcome to the stream, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Um... Ten? Oh, you can pay with LP, too. That's pretty cool. Um... I think we need to buy, like, at least two of these. Um, I think we're good with everything else. Potions. How much do I have in my bag? Does it say? Oh, it says I have 10. So then will it... Okay, let me see if it moves, changes to 12. Oh, it does change to 12. Okay, cool. That's kind of a lot, though. So what I'm wondering is if you can adventure with other players using the union thing. Who are you? Okay. Interesting. Oh, so you can talk to them from both sides? Interesting. They wrote signature to put fire up for adoption. Hi, Shiver, and, uh, who's Fry? I've read that as fire at first. 
Using Unistar, you can play together with friends as you adventure around Paldea. If you want to play with nearby friends, you should leave your internet connection in online, offline mode if you want to play far away friends. You can use the online mode, you can connect or disconnect from the internet with Poke Portal. When you want to invite friends to play together with you, form a group and then tell your friends the link code you sent. If you want to join a friends group, you'll need to enter the link code they share with you. Just remember they won't be able to take part in link battles, link trades, or terror raid battles with anyone but your fellow group member. Anyone but your fellow group members while you're playing together as a group. Got it. Does anybody want to like? Does it? Does anybody have Violet or Scarlet? And it's kind of in a similar place to me, <laughs> and wants to try this thing. Oh, oh! Splatoon three idols. Oh, sorry, I for totally forgot. Okay, so can I just form a group and leave it there? Or how does this work? I just want to try this thing. Oh, okay. The group will be disbanded, okay. Someone give me your money, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, so... That's the link code, but I don't think anybody in chat even has the game right now. Unfortunately. Hmm. Okay, so... Uh, what happens if I try to set... Oh, you need at least two. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and leave that. What happens if I try to join somebody else's group? Cheesecake's basically talking about after show of AFNAF Minecraft music video thingy. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, you need a link code. Never mind. Okay, so I can't join. Alright, so we'll leave that for now. Until we get more people who actually have the game. Alright. The music changes as soon as you step off the platform. Look at all these people! This is Los Platos. You were always happy to serve up a helping of hospitality to anyone passing by. Cool. I wish I had a Pokemon, like a Lechonk? Can I talk to them? Oh, you can't talk to them. They just have the speech bubbles like an X and Y. Go, 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 go. Ah, I'm all topped up. What are you drinking? Is that coffee? Well, too young for that. Would you like some delicious, refreshing ice cream? I definitely want ice cream. Teriyaki ice cream? I'm not gonna lie, that sounds kind of gross. Let's try... This looks like chocolate, so... I don't even know what this... 900? This is expensive. League points. Okay, let's try with league points. Does it actually show you eating it? Knackly salt ice cream. Really, Pokemon? This is the animation? I ate a 2D image? Come on! I definitely was not ready for that animation. That was so late. <laughs> really? <laughs> I'm never buying ice cream again. <laughs> not in this game. Fletchling, how cute. Interesting, look at that. Right? Why is that why is that the animation? That was so lame. Okay. Is that all you have to tell me? Can I go in here? No. Whoa, why does the camera zoom in like that? Whoa, look at the Tauros! I know we will always be the first one. Okay, let's uh Put my... I want to send this out. Since I'm not, like, really walking around that much. Yeah, that eating animation was so weird! <laughs> it was like... Eats a 2D image and then just circling around and a poke... All my Pokemon come out of nowhere. Even the curry eating animation was better than this. Yeah, okay. Great, I already knew that. I like to talk to all the NPCs. My follower is gonna love this. Oh my gosh. There's nothing on your screen. <laughs> Academy students who live here in Los Platos don't bother with the dorms. You can meet to school each day directly from home. Duh. Though the hill does make it pretty rough. It's good exercise. I go to school every day and learn lots of 
about Pokemon and things. Like, did you already know that every Pokemon can remember up to four moves at a time? Yes, I did! Surskit, can I catch those? Right? That was such a weird animation. I I don't know, man. Pokemon could have spent a little bit more time on that. If you're gonna make that whole sequence anyway. Like, man. Can I catch these? That would be a big fat no. Yeah, it's not letting me aim at them. Okay, well... What the heck was that noise? What a cute little town. My girl is so good at math, you know? Oh, for mine, it's battle studies. I am horrible at math. Sure, just take a lot of walking to get around here. You're still complaining and you live here? <laughs> I think you'd be used to it by now. Nothing like relaxing on the grass. Yeah, you shouldn't sit on the grass for too long, because that's for dogs like pee pee and poo poo, and then, like, you know, there's a bunch of Pokemon living here. <laughs> So it's even worse. Oh yeah, I knew that. Oh, but this is a little kid, so... So we completed the huge circle. Let's go back over here. Or let's go over here, rather. I think this is where the school is. The school, is it? Off to school now, dear. Careful on the road, and remember to jot things down so you won't forget what you've accomplished. Los Platos. Okay. Is there anything worth exploring over here? Okay, much of the same Pokemon I've already seen and caught. Yeah, the eating animation <laughs> is so weird. Like, why? You spent so much time, like, making new animations for the Pokemon. Like, is that the reason why <laughs> you didn't make new animations? Just, just like, just, I don't know, man. Just lick a 3D model of ice cream. Is, is that so hard? To, is that too much to ask for, you know? There doesn't even have to be ice cream coming off of the actual 3D model onto the tongue. I don't think that's too much to ask for. Oh, there's a Bonsly, Bonsly thing, and there's an, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that blue thing is running in the background. That's a new Pokemon. Okay, let's do, this is a rock type, so let's use like Bite. the heck? Oh, that little, like, shiny animation thing was a flinch animation. What the? Okay, I'm, we're seeing underground again. In order to adjust the level of fluids in his body, it exudes water from its eyes. It makes it appear to be crying. I would not like to give it a nickname, send the boxes. Okay, now who's leaving their babies out roaming in the wild? Jeez. Okay, now where's that other, where did that new one go off to? There's a Squobat, where's that other one? Looks kind of cool. Oh, there it is. What the heck is that? Interesting. Shroodle! Like, uh, a shrimpy noodle? <laughs> I don't know what type this thing is. It's probably a bug type. Oh, I killed it! No! Yeah, you should get it as soon as possible. I didn't want to knock it out. Dang it! Oh, there's a trainer. Dang it. La hair though. My hair looks something like that if I if I uh, uh, were to grow it out. Carlota. Down sweet. Oh, we can see underground again. Um I know I didn't want to knock it out. Dang it. The Spirit Gatito is like too overpowered. Dang, that was quick. The Shrudo was just a boy, I know. 
Oh my gosh, come back, Shrudel. Why can't you just catch Pokemon after you faint? That doesn't make any sense. They should still be there, literally. Oh, Spupa. Hope I don't knock this one out, too. Okay, uh... Magical Leaf, because it resists grass type. Okay, good, okay. Maybe I'll use Scratch next. <laughs> Harden. I'll just try throwing a Pokeball now. Oh, what? Okay, then. I'm getting hungry, y'all. I have to take a lunch break and then come back to streaming. My Pommy leveled up. Does Pommy evolve, I wonder? If Rufflet attacks his Pokemon by pecking at it, it will retaliate with its sharp fur and poisonous black powder. Interesting. That's two out of three of this Pokemon's evolutionary line. Oh my gosh. Shrudel. Let's get this Squovit. Oh, what is that Pokemon in the back? Sleeping. I don't know. Can I turn maybe and get closer? No, I can't tell what that is. Um, Bite. Please don't kill it. Okay, good. I gotta use my 100 Pokeball code. I wonder if I should give the other one away. But then again, none of y'all even have a game yet, so never mind. Got the Squobat. These have been appearing uh, like crazy in Pokemon Go as well. Stores berries in his cheeks. When there are no berries to be found, Squobat will stuff pebbles in his cheeks to stave off its cravings. That is... <laughs> That is so relatable. Well, there's nothing to eat, so you just have <laughs> plain bread or something, right? <laughs> okay, what is this? Oh, it's just a Sunkern. I already have that. I want the Shrudel! <laughs> oh, is this a Shrudel? No, it's on the chalk. Okay. Just sleeping peacefully here. More items that I somehow missed. Mesa Gosa. Bounce Sweet! Dang, you can catch so many Pokemon here. This is insane. Okay, please don't die. I, after I use Bite. Ugh! No! It's. Spirit Gatito is getting too high leveled. I can't use things like that anymore. I gotta start using, like, Scratch. For Leafage. Let's try Scratch. Oh my gosh, even Scratch does that much damage. Why does a Bounce Sweet no Splash? I know it jumps up and down, but that's not the same as splashing in water. Oh, we can see uh, below the map again. So weird. Its sweat is sweet, like syrup made from boiled down fruit. Because of this bounce sweet was highly valued in the past when sweeteners are scarce. Uh, typical humans. Gonna make all these Pokemon extinct. Money check with your mom. Yeah, like 30 bucks. Okay. You're close, right? You're close. Look at all these Fletchling. I don't want these, though. I want the... A new one. I can't believe I knocked it out. Oh, there's another one. There's a Shrudel over there. Get this item. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Thought I saw it. Is that, did I just see a Lechonk and think I saw one? 
Oh, I could have swore there was one here somewhere. With a little tiny lechon. Oh, there it is. There it is. Good breakfast. Made three stacks of waffles, three pieces of bacon, and spicy sausage. That's kind of a lot, but I could actually eat that much. Okay, we're going to use Scratch this time. Ugh, okay. Can you side me some of that breakfast? I know, man. I'm hungry, too. I might have to take a little break for lunch. I'm going to play a little longer, though. I actually want to play, like, more of this game today. I don't want to just stream for, like, an hour 20 or whatever. Okay, I think I'm going to add, uh, Shrudel to my team. It's Poison Normal. Though usually a mellow Pokemon, also a toxic mouse Pokemon, uh, it will sink its sharp, poison-soaked front teeth into any that anger it, causing paralysis uh, uh, in the object of its ire. Okay, no, I need to remember the names of these things. Shrewdle, it's kind of adorable, to be honest. Um, let's see, this Wooper is already a poison type, so I'm going to swap for the Wooper. Okay, we got it this time. We didn't knock it out. We think I kept Scratch. Hey, let me grab that. I was like, why isn't it letting me grab that? And you can do the gyms in any order in this game, by the way. So you could literally go to the last gym if you wanted to. Oh, this is where we were, kind of where we're at earlier. What's this? Sunkern? Okay. I've got to what? Okay, more items. There's so many items. I love this open world thing, man. I've always wanted to play an open world Pokemon game. But like, in the main a mainline version. Legends of Arceus was really cool. But, you know, I think the next step definitely was this. Yes, it has its problems and glitches and bugs and stuff. But I think, overall, this is still a pretty cool experience. Okay, yeah, I don't want to go too far yet. I want to battle these trainers. Is there any berries down here? No. Pretty big tree, though. What's over here? Bonsly. Oh, another Shrudel. There's another Wooper, Psyduck in a bush, a TM. And there's another unreachable item. Swift. Interesting. What's this? Oh, it's Magikarp. Chunk. Yeah, it was a little odd. I mean, you kind of get bored of it kind of easily, too. But it was an interesting concept, though. I like that the Pokemon Company is taking risks and, and doing different things, you know? Trying different concepts. I'll tell you all you need to know about hiking. Rule 1, work those legs. Rule 2, work those legs. I hate to tell you this, but uh, both your rules are the same. Hiker Lucia. They did start out pretty strong, though, so it's kind of hard to beat that, you know? Although this game has been really popular. The hype is really high. I, when I was picking up my copy, my double, my double pack copy of Scarlet Violet at Target, uh, a guy in front of me told me that a, a GameStop um, in a different city nearby had like 300 people on, uh, you know, the release day event. Yeah, and it was like, because they had a 8.50 p.m. release day um, on the night before of its actual release day. There's like 300 people in line who all pre-ordered the game. I was like, holy moly. Work those legs! Alright, let's battle this kid. I got two whole Pokemon. Am I cool or what? I'd say you're pretty cool. I like the suspenders and the pants, though. What can I wear that? I don't want to wear these janky-looking shorts. And we can see underground again. Never skip leg day. <laughs> How? 
hound. How do you have a hound hour? What the heck? How does this kid have a hound hour? Okay. Uh. Oh yeah. I think. Cause I think hound hour is probably rock. He doesn't have a shiny Arceus and Giratina though, so like, <laughs> you're not that cool. You know, kind of, kind of cool, but not that cool. So this, you tell me this kid went by himself into a cave where he could have got mobbed by a bunch of Hound Hour. And he came out okay. I went to the mall not to get Scarlet and Violet, but just to walk around and the line was going all the way to the food court. It was scary, right? It was crazy. Like, what the heck? Oh, wing attack. Okay. Not gonna lie, Flamigo is actually a pretty solid Pokemon. Wing attack. Probably should replace Peck. Yeah, let's do that. Have you picked up uh, Scarlet or Violet yet, Blue? You can just digitally download it, but everybody is in line for like the, the pre-order bonuses and stuff. Plus, uh, people like me like uh, the physical copies. I like how his head's still hanging. Yeah, I, for me personally, I like the physical copies. Also, it takes up less space. Because I like physically collecting, you know, uh, the games. But that's just, like, me, you know. I'm old school that way. Yeah, GameStop had the pins, and then Target had the figure. So it's this thing. I, I, sh I should open that up in a second, so you guys can see what the figure looks like. Okay. Four dollars in a dream. <laughs> so relatable. Uh, wow. Stored power. Okay. Look at all these baby Pokemon. Not one Clefairy or Clefable in sight. Or not Clefairy. Uh, Jigglypuff or Wigglytuff in sight. Such terrible parents. I guess there's humans nearby, so I guess that's, that counts. I mean, if I had such an exceeding amount of money, I would just give away copies of Scarlet and Violet, to be honest. But, uh, I ain't that rich. <laughs> Maybe someday. Okay, and I'm basically circle all the way back. Okay, cool. Alright, so I'm gonna save. I wanna open, um, the figure. I wanted to do it on live stream, so. A small book. Oh my gosh, that'd be so cool, Lego. Like, imagine we could put, like, our starter Pokemon back there or something. Okay, I'm gonna make my face bigger. Okay, I'm gonna leave my picture down there. I'm gonna open this. So you guys can see what the figure looks like. So this is the... This isn't a pre-order bonus, but this is, like, if you came on release day to Target. Like, right when they opened. They had a few of these. If you bought the double pack. So I was like, I pre-ordered from GameStop, but I didn't even pick, pick it up. Okay, so I'm gonna open that. Okay, it's harder to open than I thought it'd be. That's pretty cool. Okay, there they are. Ooh, look at that. So they're like in the plastic thing to protect them. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna take this bottom plastic thing off somehow. Is it taped? Yep, it's taped. Mystery chip bag. ASMR uh, figure style, Pokemon style. Unhook this thing. Yeah, in um, in Europe, across many countries in Europe, they got a steel book for pre-ordering. Okay, so here it is. Taking that off. It is adorable, right? Look at it. It has all three starters. I was like, I was gonna get get my pins from GameStop. I was like, no, forget that. Look at that. That is so cute. I'm gonna rotate it. Wait, Coco, wait, Coco. This is so cute, right? Look at that. A spirit gatito sitting on a log. Which is kind of fitting since it's a grass type. 
and then uh, Quaxley's in a little puddle, and then Flake Coco is in a like a pile that has a pile of, pile of rocks in front of it. This is so cute, guys! Oh my gosh, this is so adorable. I love it. This is so cool. All the grass is like textured and stuff. Oh, Coco's feet are actually like in the water, like indented in the water. I don't know if you can see that. See that? There's indentations in the water. Yeah, the steelbook would have been cool. I think France, the UK, and Germany got the steelbook. Here, I think best if you were pre-ordered at Best Buy, you would have gotten like berries or potions or something. It's so lame, man. And <laughs> GameStop and Target. I mean, GameStop probably had the coolest pre-order bonus, and, like in terms of just like getting the pins, which are cool. But and this this figure technically wasn't even a pre-order bonus. It's just for the people who you know bought the game and stuff. Oh, this is the bottom, by the way. You can see where Quagsley's feet are, where the trunk is. This is so cute. Love that figure. Came right at uh, 8 a.m. for that. <laughs> right when Target opened, because I didn't know how many they were gonna have, so. That's all I wanted that for. Yeah, more like worst buy, right? Seriously felt like it. Gosh, it's like so huge. This is crazy. Did I battle this person already? Yeah, I think so. This is crazy. You don't even have to follow the path. Why is there a preschooler out here? All right, all right, we'll battle. Who else had a pre-order? I, I forget who it was. But yeah, it was like either berries or potions or something like that. I think one youngster Luca. One company or one place if you pre-order, you get like some special code or something for like a, um, in-game items, like, you know, like, like uh, cosmetic stuff. Which isn't bad, but you know, I'd rather get something physical. True to learn bite. Okay, Fury swipes. Okay, let's forget. Probably. Hmm. Let's forget Leer. You have to train harder there, Luca. Yeah, looking cool doesn't just cut it. Although, you know, it does look pretty cool. Does this shooter look different to you guys? What the heck? Let me see. What the heck? Why is mine so tiny? Or is it just because it's further away? Oh, no, that's just how it looks. Okay. I was like, it's not a shiny, is it? Kirby game that I kind did and didn't want. Oh, which Kirby game? It's a Pommy, I think. What the? Oh, it's that spider Pokemon. The Tarunchula thing. <laughs> Hop it. Look at the little Shrudel. So cute. You could, I could, you could literally miss so many things by just. Even if you were exploring, this is this is crazy. There's so much going on. Let me uh switch my lead back. There you go. I mean, if they didn't have all these items highlighted, I don't know. We'd probably miss a whole bunch of them because the grass is pretty tall in some areas. Gun off Best Buy. <laughs> Funny. I remember the memes about that. Gotta get stronger. Yeah, you do. Let me get this item and then battle him. Ugh. Throw it at that guy. <laughs> Kirby Battle Royale. Oh, okay, that one.
Oh, this guy has... Look at that. He's got a beard. Alberto the Worker. I like how even their names are Spanish sounding. That's pretty cool. Magical League. Man, that does a lot of damage. These bites. Best Pokemon game. <laughs> Pokemon gun. Why do you have your fists up like you're gonna battle? You trying to trying to throw some hands? <laughs> That's why your Pokemon is not getting any stronger, because you just you just keep trying to throw hands yourself, not even use your Pokemon. Dang, this is insanely expansive, man. The only instance of my name being in a Pokemon game that I've seen is during the Sword Shield Blonde Lady fight. Oh really? Was the blonde lady's name Elijah or something? Okay, oh, what the heck is that? There's like a purple glowing thing up there. It was, he was in the elevator. Oh, you're talking about a blonde dude. He was in the ele uh, what do you call it? In the elevator thing and the only Pokemon he had was a Durant. I know, right? And then people act like they're gonna beat you and stuff. These poor, poor newbie trainers. Is that plant like clipping through the wall? <laughs> There's so much to see. So much to explore. Oh, look at it. <laughs> this tarantula is like a part of the Fletchlings crew. Look at that. <laughs> look at that thing. That's so funny. Fall damage? Fall damage? Oh no, you just slide down no matter what. Okay, so maybe Gui was right about the no fall damage thing. Cause that was pretty steep, but I just went down. I didn't get any fall damage. It just automatically slid. Local worker man picks a fight with a academy kid gone wrong. <laughs> that totally sounds like one of those like clickbaity titles. That gets a lot of views. Oh, this is a gimme ghoul? What the? Oh, I thought that was a Pokemon. It's just a trainer's head. Slightly out of view. Oh, you still got the the different sized candies and stuff. Okay. Okay, we got all y'all, I think. Oh, is that a Pichu? Again, more baby Pokemon. Okay, don't die from a scratch, please. Uh, oh my gosh. It almost died. Oh, the Rotom phone saves you. Got it, okay. The advent of technology. I guess in Legends Arceus, it was more meant to be more primal, right? Less advanced. Oh, I got extra Pokeballs now. Or different kinds of Pokeballs now. That's how my entire playthrough of Ultra Sun was going. <laughs> the NPCs were like, Hey, Shifty, I'll kick your curse word. And she brings out a shiny Primal Kyogre, both shiny primordial beings, <laughs> and apparently Mega Gardevoir, right? It's <laughs> unskilled at storing electric power. Any kind of shock causes it to discharge energy spontaneously. Pichu's like my favorite baby Pokemon, I think. It's just so adorable. <laughs> Let's, um, I'm gonna go back to Pokemon Center and, like, heal real quick so I don't have to use items. This is so cool, though. I'm really enjoying this. You really get to just take your time and explore. You don't feel like you have to do all this stuff before the first gym. Oh, we probably should have registered our birthday. Or my birthday. 
That's a cool little screen. Did you know? There are kinds of handy functions registered to your directional buttons. Check them out. So up is... Oh, it's a facial expression thing. Down is a camera. Oh, there is a camera. Left is probably to change clothes, and right is some bell icon. Oh, it says down there. <laughs> Check notices. I did not know that, actually. Thank you for that. Now let's register the birthday thing. Uh, do be careful if you, uh, you enter it right. You can't change your birthday after it's registered. Imagine. <laughs> okay, so this is the birth month. Okay, so October. This is birth date. Okay, and then let's put seven. That's right. Cool. Oh, let's buy more Pokeballs. Or I could just use my code to... Uh, let's buy 10 more. Alright. I think we can finally head to the school now. Let me turn my mic. I just realized it was turned away from my mouth there. You'll probably be able to hear me better now. You need like a bike or something, man. This is pretty cool. I feel like all their previous games that they re recently released have been leading up to this. Like Pokemon Snap and the whole exploratory thing and then Legends Arceus. All that stuff. Is this guy ready to battle again? Oh, no, okay. So he caught his Trudel by a pond of water. He's trying to tell you where he caught his Trudel and where you can catch your own from the looks of it. Okay, I was there already. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was oh, there was a Pokemon Center right there. Oh, my gosh. I didn't have to go all the way back. All right, let's battle this dude right here. Guess this is it? Looks like he wants to beat me up. What is wrong with people in this game? <laughs> I came to Mesagosa to make some deliveries, but let's have a quick battle. Who do you work for? I'm about to report you to your boss. You should be working. Oh, rookie D. Unnerved. Too nervous to eat berries. Okay. Well, um, have a magical leaf then. Oh, not very effective. Oh yeah, it's a flying type. Dang it. Forgot. That did the trick. Does it have another one? Oh. Iker the courier. He laughs. Guess I delivered you a win. Ha 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 ha. It's actually a pretty good one. <laughs> At least I thought it was. Okay, what's over here? Is there any items? Man, that sound effect gives me like PTSD from Sword and Shield. Some Pokemon's gonna come charging at me any second now. Like I'm a chop or something. <laughs> okay, same, same. Any trainer worth their salt knows. You're gonna finish your sentence. This lady kind of buff though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's try using Lechonk again. What happens when a Pokemon's HP runs out? What are you talking about? Everybody knows that. Hiker Paula. Next thing you know, Paula's gonna ask me. Oh, it's a slack off. Uh, what? <laughs> what happens when the clouds cover the sky and get really dark? Uh, let's use this army voice. Oh, it's using Yawn! Okay, well... I'm gonna switch. I don't wanna have to deal with the sleeping thing. Let's try Shrudel. I'm pretty interested in this Pokemon.
It's got true, and that'll make this a lot easier. What does this do again? Oh, okay. Let's do Fury Swipes. Ah! How are you avoiding... You were supposed to be loafing. How on earth do you avoid that? I know, right? That would be scary. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, let's use Acid Spray. I can only use Fury Swipes? Okay, whatever. Oh, because they use Encore. That's right. I was barely paying attention when I, when that, uh, I read that. Okay, well, that works out. What's going on with that thing over there? The chunk. All right, level up. To get too exhausted to fight, duh. Pokedex has been updated. Okay. Anything else here? That's worth noting. No, no. I don't think there's anything really on that side of things. Is there anything down here? No. Oh, it's a TM. Oh, no. It won't let me go? What the heck? Oh, I'd have to surf to it, huh? See some Pokemon down there. There's a Surskit, too. Ha! <laughs> and it just comes back. Go! <laughs> That's funny. Oh, can I initiate a battle from way up here with these guys? No, definitely not. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Man, there's literally Lechonk for days. For years in the Paldea region. Like, it's kind of it's kind of ridiculous. Oh, there's a big old Pokemon Center sign right there. That's pretty cool. More items. Man, you can miss so much if you just, uh, just go straight through everything. Heal ball. Okay, that's cool. Throws it in the ocean, right? Just yeet it. Like, who, like I would probably throw, like, I don't know. That would also sacrifice Pokeball. I know, right? But Pokeballs are, like, magical or something, and they just come back to you. For no reason. <laughs> just on command. Like, you have, like, uh, telekinesis or something. Okay, there's nothing there. Why does every Lechonk feel the need to follow me? Magic card. Oh, okay. I was going to get that item, but I guess not. Uh, we were here earlier, I think. Okay, let's get out of here. I think it is a new Ratata. <laughs> Except it's a lot more adorable, honestly. What's that, Sunkern? Yeah. Makes sense for Sunkern to be out here. Does anybody need healing? No, okay. It's like when you want to release something and the game goes, but your game back... But your game back it love... You loves you. <laughs> Who the heck is this? You want to battle right next to Pokemon Center? Oh, Pokemon League rep. I have. If you can defeat four trainers here in Area 1 of South Province, there's a lovely prize with your name on it. So far, I defeated 10 trainers here in Area 1 of South Province. Okay, what's my prize? Thunder Wave. Okay, I'll take that. Sweet. I meant you came back, not your game back. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes sense. Whoa, interesting. Psyduck. I like how it has a swimming animation. I heard some Pokemon don't have a swimming animation, but some do. That's what I saw on Twitter, anyway. Mesagosa. Oi, Pokepop. There's a sandal over there on the screen. 
Did you battle some trainers on the hill? I bet your Pokemon are getting stronger. They sure are. <laughs> Be like, I don't know. Come on, Pokemon. Let's have us a fruitful battle. You're just going to battle in front of the door? Isn't that kind of rude for people who want to come in? <laughs> Can we at least move to the side somewhere? Okay, I guess not. Quagsley! Oh, yeah, I forgot how to let Chonk on my front, uh, the front of my party. See if I can get any better at this, so I'm coming at you with two Pokemon this time. Ooh la la! Whatever shall I do? Okay, let's try... We'll use a status affecting move, why not? Oh, dang, Chonk, you tanky! Chonky! You're the Chonky! Um, disarming voice. Come on, Gan, hold on. I'm about to sweep. What? <laughs> what are you you're about to sweep? Oh my gosh, I should switch. Lord my attack too much. Uh, eh, I don't know. Let's try it. It's an orange. Are you really just gonna keep growling? Okay. Oh, battle sweep. Who are you about to sweep? 1v6 style. Mud shot. Yes, let's learn mud shot. I like how they just the trainer waits patiently for you to just like finish <laughs> doing this. Okay, uh let's bring a tackle, I think. Um, should we switch? So, Pommy, so I guess. Well, the Chonk would be my best bet then. Yeah, let's just keep him out here. Battling use a blast. I think I better pull out my ace in the hole. Which would be... What the... Okay. It's the evolution transformation gimmick of this generation. Look at that. Okay, that's kind of cute. Terrastalizing, that's right. So a solid strategy gives moves of the Pokemon Terra type power. Whoa, okay. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, come on! Okay, um... This is a bit unfair. <laughs> Wait, does it change? It changes types, right? Let me try Flamigo. Let's see if fighting types are strong against this... Crystal type? I don't know. <laughs> this thing is supposed to be a mouse Pokemon, right? Why is it barking? Oh shoot, I'm a flying type! This was so dumb! I regret everything! They become gems, I know, right? Okay, great. This was a terrible idea. I'm sorry. Uh, let's let's do <laughs> Spirit Gatito. It should resist the electric types. Should. And let's see, though. Sometimes I forget my type effect in this, so... Okay, there we go. I was right. Terrasizing gives it a real boost. Even when it moves in very effective, look how hard it hits. Okay, okay. 6 HP. I'll give it that. Um, um, bite? A critical hit! And it goes down in one hit! I have a hard time landing those even when I try. Yeah, same here. The heck does that even mean to have a critical hit? 
It looks so sad when it decrystallizes. Or deterastalizes. Oh, it turned back into daytime. Man, I can't believe how fast you're improving. Yeah, me either. Amazing, look at you, taking on Terrasalize's opponent and winning no problem. Well, it was just a Pommy. I'm thinking that you can't Terrasalize your Pokemon yet, huh? Don't worry, I'll get you taken care of. You're so good with Pokemon Battle, so forget how new you are to this stuff sometimes. Anyway, it was so fun to battle you here. Have some revives as a thanks. Okay. Big door. Now Mesagosa is waiting just past this gate. At last, the city where our school is. There's a ton of hills and stairs and stuff in the city, so I'm going to take a quick breather. Let me catch up with you soon. Great. My favorite kind of city <laughs> where everything is uphill. I hated those types of deliveries for Amazon. The sponge where you have to climb stairs and hills. Oh my word. So exhausting. Oh man, first thing, climb up a huge hill. It's like, what is that, cotton candy or something? Looks like a sandwich shop over there. This is pretty cool, not gonna lie. This is like X and Y, but like, way, on a way bigger scale, more detailed. Pretty. Spanish style Paldea. Spanish style Pokemon region. All right, here I am. We finally made it. This is Mesagosa, the biggest city in Paldea. It's been a big trade hub since a long time ago. So lots of folks here come to learn ab about advances in technology and all kinds of other stuff. There's a Drifloon balloon. I like it. There's a hair salon we can change your look, plus places with tasty food and fixings. Okay, what do you want to see first, Pokepop? Uh, tasty food, man, I'm hungry. I am a big eater. That's smart. You can uh, battle well with a growling tummy, right? That's true. Oh, speaking of battling, I want to be sure you'll be able to terrestrialize your Pokemon too, Pokepop. There's a few things that got to get done for that to happen, but I'll take care of them. Okay. Meanwhile, you just go have fun looking around the city a bit. There's so much to do. Grab a bite, buy some accessories, spice up your uniform. If you want my personal recommendation, you gotta see Delibird Presents. They sell handy items for Pokemon to hold. Interesting. I want some clothes, man. Once you see your seeing your fill, you, we can meet up again in front of the school. Just be ready. The stairs up to the school are no joke. Look at that! Those stairs are OP! Later then, get pumped for some terrestrializing. Okay. This oh my look at all those stairs! That's insanity. This is Mesagosa, the biggest city in Paldea. Or Paldea? Paldea. I don't know. Look at all the stairs just to get in here. Jeez. There's a moat around this city. It's like a, actually, not a thing about it. This thing is like a fortress. It's like one of those old Spanish style like castles. It. I'd say it's chow time. It's tough being a kid. It's even tougher being an adult. <laughs> Can I talk to the kid? No. Just to the, uh, the other chonkers. The bouncy chonkers. Always changing, always shifting. Time passes, weather changes. I hear wild Pokemon behave differently too depending on the weather and time of the day. Yes, they do. Wow, look at this. This is insanity. There's so much to see. Oh man, okay, so as that NPC was saying, it's chow time. I'm like actually pretty hungry. <laughs> I haven't eaten for like since I woke up, really, so I'm uh, pretty hungry right now. I'm probably just gonna like save here or something because it's a nice, gorgeous view. Look at that. Gonna save. Oh, I forgot I have Karaidon now, but I can't use it in battle yet. How do you even ride it, too? Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a lunch break. Um,. I might have to do something with Mercy, but uh, if I can get back on uh, later tonight, I will. Because I want to play through this as much as I can, especially since there's like so much exploring to do. Um, the, end of the end game will probably be way, way later. Um, I need to get your body to go get this hair done. Yeah. 
time to get that done and i need to eat like seriously um but yeah um i'll do my best to be back on tonight i'm really shooting to be back on tonight uh, i really want to play more of this game i'm having so much fun with it i want to see what else this thing has in store for us and i want to share the experience with all of you of course um but yeah i'm gonna go eat uh do some other stuff and then hopefully i'll be back later on tonight anyway that's it for now until next time my pokey pop signing out